good day guys welcome to today's lesson on start pro connect edition today we shall be designing these octagon buildings so let's go to our start pro okay so give it any name you want the octagon structure okay so choose your location create okay the first thing i do is bring out my beam grid okay so on the exit plane yeah okay so I'm picking here as my point zero as my origin and from here to this point is eight meters so come here hold control for um hold control so the beam doesn't show okay so you can escape turn off your beam grid okay then go to the plan top view select your beam cursor node cursor okay selected it then the next thing we do is if this is my point zero zero I'm going to move it from here to here is eight meters is eight meters so i'm going to move it eight meters upwards so i light it Control c on your keyboard has to copy Control v on your keyboard to paste so i'm going in the z direction negative z direction so minus eight okay minus eight okay so Control c again Control v the distance from here to here is 5.6 so control c control v sorry i light control c control v and the distance in the z direction is 5.658 right 5.658 yes okay okay so i have the same thing here control c control v in negative z direction minus 5.658 okay so i'm done with that the next thing you do is you can get your distance from this point to this point and the distance from here to here is also the same distance so you move these two nodes okay so i like this place Control c Control v so positive x direction we have 5.658 okay and we also have in this direction so but in the negative x direction so Control c Control v minus 5.6 um 5.8 okay so we are done with that next thing we do is um full structure this place highlight your node come here translational repeat y direction make the default space in three one step link it okay so Go to the front view i like the upper nodes okay then right click new view yes okay so you can see it like this okay then you can highlight it highlight then go to geometry connect beams along X. yes connect beam along z okay so now we have some slant beams so what we do is come here right click slant the beam okay 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 yeah okay so the next thing we do is to add plates so let's go let's go back to come to this point triangular plates for these corners so, triangular plates okay triangular plates so when you are done escape then add plates four sided plates okay 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 so after adding plates, the next thing we do is to, we have to mesh the plate to so escape, select plate, plate cursor, highlight it, highlight everything, right click, then generate plate mesh, plate mesh. So division, just to save time. So let me change it to five, 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 and five. So we choose polygonal. Okay. So we have our structure like this. Okay. We have this. 
Then the next thing I do is to assign property to property. My thickness of my slab, I'm using 0.175. So you add it. Then my column section, I'm using 0 0.45 and 0 0.23. Okay, so I can, I'm using the same, same thing also for my bin. So 0.45 also. 0.45 and 0.23. Okay, add close. Okay, so let me select my B, my columns. Go back to the full structure. Okay, before going back, let me raise it back. So view display whole, stru whole structure. Highlight everything. Okay, then go back to translational repeat y direction three. Um, so okay, yeah, okay. So we have this. Then, if you notice, we have no plate mesh there. So all I do is come to select, select, sorry, um, front view, select plate cursor, select plate cursor. I like the plates here. Okay, then this. So one, two, two, three. In the y direction okay so we have this let me see so we have our plates here so i'm using this place as the roof so let me select property for my roof beam so define section my roof beam i'm going to use 0.3 and 0.23 so you add close okay so my plates assigned to view assigned to all the plates and view okay this is it then the next thing my column select parallel to Select parallel to Y, so assign selected beams, assign. Then also similarly, um, you select missing attributes. Okay, missing. Sorry, come here. Missing property name, missing property. So you can come to the front view. You can deselect these ones. Okay, sorry. Um, let me highlight everything here. New view. Okay. Yeah. So, go back to select select attributes missing properties. Okay. So assign to selected beams. Assign. Yes. Okay. Then go back display structure. Come to this one for the roof beam. Select missing property also so only the roof beam will be selected assign to selected beams assign okay so after that you can see our 3d view 3d rendering so this is our structure here okay well i think i have a problem with the the different beams here so what i'll do is front view I like the beams here. Okay, again, uh, yes. Okay, so take your note cursor. I like this point. Um, I like this point. Come to geometry, connect along X and also along Z. Okay, so. I can join my beams here. This is one, two, three, four. Okay, done that. Then the next thing is assign property to this. So select missing attributes, missing property. Okay, assign to selected beams. Assign, yes. Okay. Next thing after select you select your materials. So it's concrete, everything is all concrete. Then specification. If you want to release any moment, you can come here and release moments. So support. I'm creating a fixed support. So add okay. So view front view. I like the nodes below. Okay, check it. Okay, so assign the selected nodes, assign. Yeah. Then loading. So add dead load live load 
okay then can create auto combination so i'm using the british code bs8110 okay so generic reading combination so add close okay so this is it okay so thank you for watching today's video i'm going to continue okay so if you have any problem make sure you subscribe on my youtube channel thank you